so we're going to start our pen drawing on the first tall rectangle brick. And I'm just going to start on the darkest part. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to just start defining the outer edge of the dark value. And now I can start to focus in on the little details that I just kind of rushed over with pencil to give me a guide of where I was going. So it is easier to do this with an ink pen and not a ballpoint pen. Um, if your only pen you have access to is a ballpoint pen, that's fine. But it is easier to use like a wet ink pen to, to fill in our values. I'm just defining the shapes of light and dark. And now I can go in and I can start adding the value. And so the technical term for what I'm doing here is just called scribbling. Um, and it's just doing tiny little swirls and filling in the space. I'm not lifting the pen off the paper. I'm just scribbling in value to give me that rough texture. And so I've drawn in those shapes to help me avoid the areas that are going to be a little bit lighter and I can fill in all of this area with the darker value by scribbling it in. And this does take patience. You want to do tiny little circles and give it that rough texture. You don't want to race through this like anything with art. You just want to take your time and scribble in those darker values. So if we bring in our photo reference, we can see I'm filling in this really, really dark area with that darkest value. And I'm just going to go through always looking at my photo reference. I'm leaving a little bit of white on the highlight on the bottom there because that's going to show a little bit of a reflection and I'm going to fill everything else in with scribbles. So now I'm going to bring in my photo reference again and I, this, I can see this is not quite as dark as my photo reference. I want to darken this up a little bit. So now I can go in and I can do my cross hatching over the top to just darken that value up a little bit. You can still see the texture I put in with the scribbles, but now this hatching over the top is just going to darken that up to give me that almost black value we're looking for from our photo reference. So once I have this area as dark as I want it where I can still see texture through, I'm just going to go in now. I'm going to start adding that darker value to the areas around it. And again, I'm just scribbling in these textures. So bring in our photo reference and you can see this little ridge that we've recreated and I can probably even darken this up a little bit more. Now I'm just going to move around and start adding in that darker value to all the other areas around it. 
that need to be part of that core shadow. And you can go in and start defining that bottom edge of this particular stone. And you can start going in and reshaping lines. If your pencil lines are a little off, that's fine. Just go in and change them with the pen. They'll disappear underneath the ink. And again, I'm just going in and scribbling in the darkest value. So I bring in my photo reference. I can see I need to darken this bottom area up a lot. So I'm just going to go in and start making more of my scribbles. So I bring in my photo reference again and I just look to see what needs to be darkened up where I'm going to have a little bit of highlight in this core shadow. And I want to go through and I'm going to go ahead and cross hatch and darken this up to the value we need. And now I'm going to go in and scribble in some detail in that area of midtone that's wrapped around that core shadow. So I'm just looking to see where things are lined up, figuring out this probably needs to be a little darker. So I'm just going to go in and do a little more scribbling to add that texture. So what else I'm going to do besides scribbling is I'm going to do something called stippling. 
and that is just putting dots in to create value. So if I put a bunch of dots together, it starts to darken up an area. And if I just do a couple dots in an area, it creates a completely different value. So you can see the two areas. One has a lot of dots, one has less. One's a darker value, one's a lighter. So to create darker value and add texture, I'm just gonna start doing some stippling in these lighter mid-toned areas. And take your time with the stippling. Don't do it too quick. You wanna kind of be mindful of where you're putting these dots and you're building up that value. So I'm pretty happy with how this area looks. Now I'm gonna move on to the areas around it that are a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna start by just start making some marks of what direction things are gonna go and start f making sure my, my gaps and lines are where, that, where I want them to be. And again, I'm just scribbling in texture and value. So you're just going to continue scribbling in value and you can see as you pull away like the detail kind of disappears but when you get back in you can see it so you kind of want to step back look at it and you start to see how that starts to build that core shadow on the base of that brick. And on the extremely dark parts, I'm doing cross hatching to build up that value.
and once you start working on other areas you can start to go back and see the areas that maybe need a little more value need to be a little darker When we bring in our photo reference, we can see kind of where we need to leave these highlights and start building up darker value. So always refer to your photo reference. Again, I'm defining the outer shape of these core shadow areas, and then I'm just going in and scribbling in that dark value. Again, I'm just going to take another look, see kind of where I'm going to put my next couple lines right in here roughly. Always bringing in my photo reference. I'm just going to give myself the just the rough outer shape of where that mid-tone area is going to be.
So now I'm going to go through and any areas that seem a little too bright inside this area, I'm just going to do some stippling and some scribbling in to darken up their value and just fine tuning any little details I think are necessary. So I want you to take your time with this. You know, this took me 23 minutes to do this tiny area of brick. So I'm hoping you'll slow down and just try to add all the detail you can in here. So this is the end of our first video using the pen. And I've done this area, which is the darkest, most detailed area we're going to be doing. So hopefully you like the way it looks.